Hi, and welcome to RevLine. My name is Greg Coles, and today I'll be your host. As summer fades and winter grips down on the Northern Hemisphere, it's time to talk about trainers. Today we're gonna to talk about the Wahoo Kicker Core, and we're gonna go through an unboxing. We're gonna talk about tools you need to set it up. We're gonna talk about accessories to make the ride more enjoyable. We're also gonna go through some of the features of the trainer and just a, a full tutorial on how to get set up and going. The Wahoo Kicker Core is built to last your toughest training sessions. The Core's flywheel is a 12-pound flywheel that delivers a quiet, even, and accurate experience. Controlled resistance up to a simulated 16% incline, the Kicker Core is also compatible with 8, 9, and 10, and 11 speed cassettes. Now, I installed an 8 speed cassette today, so I had to use the spacer ring that comes equipped with your Kicker Core installation package. The Kicker is compatible with the Kicker Climb simulator as well as the Headwind for a complete training experience. You can also connect this trainer up to three Bluetooth connections as well as Amp Plus to connect to smartphones, GPS, and other apps. This trainer generates up to 1800 watts plus or minus 2% accuracy with that 12 pound flywheel. The Kicker Core is compatible with most through axle standards and has clearance for flat mount disc brakes. The Core measures key metrics including speed, distance, power, and cadence. When you open the Kicker's box, what you're gonna see is a few things. You're gonna see power cables and power adapters. You're going to see some tools for installation and setup of the legs of your Kicker. You're also gonna see some adapters, and these adapters are for different axle standards and skewer length, etc. Um, you'll also find the owner's manual. The owner's manual is really good and has step-by-step -step instructions on how to install almost everything on your kicker core. As you can see, the legs come detached from the kicker. And like I mentioned in the previous picture, there is a tool and bolts to assemble these legs. Once you have your kicker completely assembled and it's time to install the cassette, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a wrench and you're gonna need a cassette tool. A cassette tool is a little spline piece that basically removes the little locking nut that holds your cassette onto your bike. As I mentioned, the core comes with many adapters to help install your skewer. Consult the owner's manual and your bike's owner's manual to figure out which ones you need to install your bike onto the core. Once everything's attached and ready to go, you simply put your bike on the kicker like you would install your rear wheel. Now all that's left to do is calibrate and set up your trainer. To do this, you have to download the Wahoo app. Once you have the app, connect the trainer via Bluetooth or Amp Plus and simply follow the step-by-step -step directions. There's buttons that tell you to add a sensor, and once the sensor is added, you have to calibrate your trainer. It's called a spin down. To do this, you basically spin the trainer up to the prescribed speed and let the trainer do the work. Now before you start training on your Wahoo Kicker Core, you're going to want a few accessories to make the ride a little bit more enjoyable. Because riding indoors, you sweat a lot more than outside, I recommend some sort of hydration, uh, whether it's an electrolyte uh, mix like this one or a tablet uh, to add to your water. You're also going to want to drink a bit more when you ride inside, maybe a bottle every 45 minutes uh, as opposed to a bottle an hour. Items you're going to need are a wheel block, the Kicker Core doesn't come with a wheel block uh, in the box, so you're going to need that just to hold the front wheel, stops it from wobbling around. Um, another item that's really good to have is a tablet holder. Um, I ride on all sorts of apps, and you can control everything with the Kicker Core through the integrated apps. So if you have the tablet holder and it's mounted right out front of your handlebars, it's extremely easy to access everything. I hope you enjoyed this video demonstrating the unboxing, setup, and demonstration of how to use a Wahoo Kicker Core. If you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe as well as leave your comments in the section below and we'll definitely get back to you. If you're interested in ordering any of the products you saw here today, don't forget to check out thebikeshop.com for all your cycling needs. When you subscribe to Revline, you'll get the latest tech and product videos in the cycling industry. Also, when we make our videos, we'll send out promotional codes for products that you can order from thebikeshop.com. These are exclusive discounts that you'll only find on YouTube. Thanks for watching.